Mario, I will be explaining to you how planets rotate around the sun, and I will be showing you how you can make a 3D simulation or animation of the solar system. Previously, I made a video that further explains how planets rotate around other planets. Let me first run my solar system program. Here you can see I have all these balls representing planets. So the one in the center represents the sun. Now if I zoom in, we can see that we have Earth here, and rotating around the Earth is the moon. Here you can see we have Pluto, this is Venus, and then this is Mars. The reason the planets rotate around the sun is because of these four is because of the gravitational force. When we have any two objects, if the objects have mass, then there will be a gravitational force between them. The, the greater the mass, the more gravitational force. You can see that the sun has the greatest amount of mass, and the rest of the planets also have mass, so the rest of the planets are also emitting gravitational force that is pulling everything toward them. But since the sun has the greatest mass, it doesn't move much. It only pulls the rest of the planets. Now you can see we all rotate it around. You can see that the Pluto is a bit tilted. Now, let's see. There is there are, the gravitational force can also be called the centripetal force. And the other force acting on the planets is the centrifugal force. It's the force that's pulling them away from the sun. The centrifugal force and the central pedal force must be balanced so that the planet does not fly away out of orbit or get sucked into the sun. So if the centrifugal force is too high, then the planet will fall out of orbit, and if the centripetal force is too great, I mean too high, then they will fall into the sun. Now this also goes with the velocity. So the velocity cannot be too fast or too slow for each of the planets. Now, same goes for the moon. The sun is also pulling the moon, but the moon is way closer to the earth. And so, the moon only rotates around the Earth. You can see that the planets rotate around the sun in the shape of an ellipse. The sun must be in the focus of the ellipse. So we have all these ellipses, and the sun must be in the focus. Now, I will go into more detail into how these things work. And I will be explaining with the help of this Python program I created. Now let me just zoom in a bit. First, over here, we can see that we have our planet rotating around the sun. Our planet should rotate in the shape of an ellipse, but over here it's just a circle so we can see it more clearly. We know we have the centrifugal force, the force the planet is using to try to escape from orbit, and the gravitational force, which is a force that's trying to pull this planet into the sun. We have v, the instantaneous velocity of the planet, and r is the distance between the center of the planet to the center of the sun. Now we'll just let this rotate so we can see this here. Here you can see we have a solar system. This is the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, 
You can soon see Jupiter, and then we have Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and finally Pluto. You can see that Pluto is in rotating around in a slightly slanted ellipse. The sun is in the focus of all the ellipses here. Here we have these variables, ms, which stands for the mass of the sun. We have the mass of the planet, r, which is from the center of the sun to the center of the planet. We have v, we have fg, which is the gravitational force, and fe is the centrifugal force. g is the gravitation constant. So that is a number we have here. This number will not change. And the mass of the sun is approximately 2 times 10 to the 30th power kilograms. Now coming up is the formulas to find the gravitational force between two planets. And in this case, it's between a planet and the sun, and the centrifugal force between two planets. The, the gravitational force is g, which we saw previously, the gravitation constant, times mp, which is the mass of the planet and the mass of the sun, over r square. Here we have fe, which equals to this. The gravitational force and the centrifugal force must be equal in order for a planet not to fly out of orbit or get sucked into the sun. So we can see that we made one full rotation, but let's here I have the script for my solar system Python program. From vPython, I import everything. I import NumPy, and from math, I import signing and cosigning. Here I have my A and B lengths for my ellipse. Here I have ball one. So ball one is the first ball, the ball closest to the sun rotating, which is, Mer which is Mercury. Then we have Venus. Then we have Earth. M Here we have the moon, so this will rotate around the Earth. Now we have Mars, Jupiter. Here we have Saturn. And ball seven is Uranus, Neptune, and finally ball nine is Pluto. The sun. Here I also have the sun, which is also a sphere, and it has the greatest radius. Now I define my ellipse function, and here I have a while loop, so it will make our solar system rotating forever. For every number in numpy.lin space, negative a1, so I want, okay, first. Let me go here. Rate 30 will let us go through 30 frames per second. Ball 1 dot position equals. Here I have negative in. This here is basically changing the x position of the ball to this one. So each time we iterate through this through this lin space, it will keep on moving forward, and the y coordinate will move according to our function. And here I modify it a bit, just so it will simulate the solar system. Here I also change the position of ball 2. Now for this for loop here, it's only for one quarter of our, pro of our rotation. Here I have the next quarter. And going forward, I have the next quarter. And finally, we have our last quarter. And you can see, this is from 0 to negative a1, this is a1 to 0, and so on. 
Now, I will run this solar system program one more time. You can see that we are slowly zooming out. That does it, the program does it for us automatically as these spheres go closer to the wall. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. Today is February 29th, 2020. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. In my next video, I will be showing you how you can rotate an earth ball around its axis, how you can rotate satellites around the earth, and how you can rotate a moon with around the earth. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.